someone's green with envy and jealous of what you have. They can't stand to see you win, but ooh, do they love to see you lose. Who is it? Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Zahara and Santa. Happy holidays. (laughs) So the winning topic this week was who's jealous of me and why. But I do want to note that the how do I know that I found the one topic was an extremely close second. So I just might do that one next week. We'll see. So yeah, I think it's a good idea to see who's jealous of you so you can figure out, you know, if they pose a threat to your well-being. I mean, sometimes... Jealousy is harmless. You know, people just get a little green with envy. But sometimes jealousy can get a little bit nasty with people trying to sabotage you behind your back. So hopefully this reading can help you guys figure out who wants to see you lose and not win. Okay, so we have four stacks of cards here. And you guys can choose which card that calls to you the most. And without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so if you chose pile number one, let's see what's going on here. All right, so let's start with these two cards. So the Queen of Swords. So this is someone who you've already cut out of your life or you're thinking about it. Get out of my life! Like, this is someone who you're really not playing games with. There's a very, like, I know what your true intentions are type of feeling. And don't think that I don't know what you're really after. I know what you're up to. And some of you are like, I can see right through your bullshit. And I'm cutting you out of my life. So, you know, hopefully this can help you figure out, like, who this person is. Because this is definitely a feeling that you feel toward this person. Okay, also, conversely, you can see this person as someone who is very harsh with their words, very cruel with their words. So that's another message that I'm picking up. All right. And then we have the King of Fire. So this is someone who definitely has a commanding, imposing presence in the room. So this could be through their looks or their personality. They just have this inspiring, uplifting, fiery presence about them that makes other people kind of see them as a leader or makes other people see them as some sort of like big shot important figure. They can be a little bit arrogant sometimes, sometimes conceited. Yes, I'm intimidating. They kind of allow the attention that they get to get into their head sometimes. But on the plus side, they are confident people. This is someone you would see as very self-assured and far from being humble, but very self-assured and confident. So if you know someone who's very confident and you have a desire to kind of cut them out of your life or you've already done it or you see them as very straightforward with their words, sometimes almost tactless, you're definitely getting warmer to knowing who this shell's person might be. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Got the hermit, the world. Okay, so this is someone who tends to retreat and withdraw a lot. They might give you the cold shoulder. Chances are high that you're not speaking to this person currently. So some of you, I'm getting that this person gives a silent treatment a lot just to be an ass. But for others of you, I'm getting like an old soul vibe from this person. Like this person thinks that they're super wise and like super above mainstream stuff. And it could get kind of annoying because it's like they might shame people who listen to music or watches movies that they feel is beneath them. They have this, well, I'm different from society and I'm not a sheep type of vibe to them. And with the world, which works so well with the hermit. um, Yeah, so the world, this person feels like they know it all. When you tell them something, it's like, yeah, I figured or been there, done that. They just have this air of already feeling like they've experienced a lot in life and they know everything. 
and you couldn't possibly tell them anything new because they're already very wise and knowledgeable. It doesn't come across very explicit. It's kind of very subtle. Like they always seem to just know everything and nothing you could tell them could possibly be of any help or of any knowledge to them because they already know so much type of vibe. Um, they just have this experienced, I know a lot, I've been through a lot type of vibe to them. Now, let's see. Page of Pentacles. So, okay, so now this is how their jealousy shows, okay? So, you know how other people, when they get jealous and you tell them good news, they kind of very dismissive and they say, oh, okay, that's nice. This person is the complete opposite they get very curious, like, oh, wow, how did you make that happen? Or how did you get that opportunity? And they're asking a whole bunch of questions. And you don't even notice that they're jealous. Um, because they just seem so intrigued by, you know, whatever it is that they're jealous of. And they're like, you know, how do you do that? Uh, you know, how do you do this? You know, how, how are you so this and that? How are you so X, Y, and Z? How did you get X, Y, and Z personality? And they're asking because they want to know how they can follow your footsteps and have what you have. The Ace of Wands tells me that this is someone who's very short-tempered. They have these flashes of anger and they have a very short fuse. They may not have the best humor. Like if you're trying to make a joke or you're trying to like, you know, tease them a little bit, they're not going to take it well. Um, they tend to be temperamental. And then sometimes it might feel like you're kind of walking on eggshells around them because you don't really know how they'll react. And let's see what they're jealous of specifically. Interesting. So the tower, such a strange thing to be jealous of. Okay, so the one message that I'm getting for some of you is that this person is jealous of how like it was easy for you to kind of walk away from whatever situationship you had with this person. Like, they felt like you kind of like obliterated the structure of the friendship relationship or whatever you two had. So they're jealous that it was like so easy for you to do that and like cut things off and they're still reeling from it. And I feel like a lot of them had like this perception of the relationship they had with you and you kind of like told them the truth or something got revealed and they're just kind of seething from it. Like I said, it seems like they have like this confidence about them. And just knowing that someone doesn't want them in their life or someone doesn't see themselves in the same light as they do, they kind of get jealous or they get like, you know, I don't know, I'm just getting like this person just doesn't accept that you don't see them the way that they see themselves and then their world and their ego just came crashing down. So, yeah, I just felt compelled to say that for some of you. Now, for the rest of you, um, you've been going through some major, major life changes. And it kind of feels a little bit, like, life-altering and a little bit staggering for you. But it's all actually turning out in your favor. So, if you've had some big surprises recently, some big turnarounds in your life that you weren't expecting, big life changes that you weren't expecting. This person wasn't expecting it either. So it's kind of throwing them for a loop and they're kind of hoping and wishing that something big and unexpected could happen for them too. And I feel like they're kind of praying for a miracle in their own life and they're waiting for that big shift in their own life. So they're a little bit like, oh no, I wish that could happen to me, you know? So yeah. And then we have the eight of wands. So this person is jealous of the fact that they feel like your life has a lot of momentum and it seems to be moving forward and progressing. Even if that's not true as how you see it, this person is definitely, definitely assuming that your life is advancing and you've got a lot of activity going on and things are moving smoothly for you and you're thriving and you're very goal oriented and things are just flying forward for you in your life. And this person just feels that you're evolving in a quicker pace than they are. And again, even if that's not exactly true, that's how they perceive your life, and it's making them a little bit green with envy. Okay, so let's see what advice Tarot has for how to deal with this person. <laughs> the sun. So I love this message. 
The message here is to keep shining brightly. Like, who cares about this jealous person? Never dim your light to make someone else more comfortable. In fact, like, I feel like this is a moment for you to shine more brightly than you ever had um, to a point where they have to, like, cover their eyes because your greatness is just too much for them to handle. So, yeah, that's that. All right, if you like any of these cards, by the way, check out the description box below to get your own copy. All right, so let's look at number two, and let's see who's jealous of you, shall we? All right, let's start with these two cards. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups and a tower, AKA life experience. I love this card. This is from the Everyday Witch Tarot. Okay, so I'm getting the feeling that I don't think that you have any qualms with this person who's jealous of you. You might even think this person is actually very sweet. Like they tend to give you compliments or you give them compliments. Um, maybe they tend to invite you out to things or you invite them out to things. You might even have a crush on this person, or you might feel they have a crush on you. Yeah, like, I don't see any bad vibes here. And, you know, I would say just for some of you, a fraction of you, just be careful because even with a sweet talker and someone with a smooth personality, they may or may not have your best intentions, okay? So, yeah, I, I just don't get any bad vibes. Like, you probably have a very good relationship with this person most likely okay so this person who's jealous of you um really knows how to shake up a room for for some of you like you know how like some people are so quiet like whether they're in the room or not it doesn't really change the dynamic because they're so reserved yeah this person's like the complete opposite like when they're in a room it completely changes everything but you already know that if this person doesn't come to a party that you invite them to, it's not going to be the same. You know, like no room is, no room is the same once this person enters it. Now, another thing is that this person could be the type to keep it real. You know, they're not afraid to say what's on their mind. They're not afraid to say what needs to be said, even if they know that it might hurt you or, you know, they're not purposely trying to hurt you. They're just, you know, they feel the need to keep it real, you know, Sometimes it has nothing to do with you. It could just be just saying things that are controversial in nature that might make people a little bit uncomfortable, but they don't really care. You know, they would definitely topple the status quo if they have to. You know, they're not afraid to say what needs to be said. Okay, now let's see what else we got here. We have the Nine of Wands and the Two of Swords. So... The Nine of Wands, this person who's jealous of you might kind of have difficulties letting people into their life because they've been hurt so much in their past that they're afraid that people have bad intentions toward them. So this could be in their love life or their friendship life where they have this paranoia that someone is just going to go and do something wrong to them. This relationship's going to go haywire because in the past everything has gone left. So why should they expect this one to go right? Or maybe they have this personality where they're just like, even toward you, even you have good intentions, they're just like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to let you in fully into my life yet, okay? Now we have the Two of Swords. So this person who's jealous of you tends to not get involved and pick sides. So for example, if you're beefing with another person, this person who's jealous of you won't take your side. So they'll kind of just take a neutral stance. They don't want to get involved. They may also tend to have, like, trouble making decisions in their life when you want them to be more decisive, you know? They kind of just leave things hanging. Also, this could be someone you feel you have an awkward relationship with or an awkward dynamic with. Like, there's a pink elephant in the room that needs to be addressed, but, you know, you guys haven't dealt with it yet or you haven't addressed it yet. But, yeah, it feels like there's some awkwardness because there's an important topic that needs to be talked about and discussed, but it keeps getting pushed under the rug. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, 
Let's see what else we've got here. Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so here's the thing. When it comes to their jealousy, it's almost like they take it and turn it into a positive. So with the Nine of Pentacles, I'm getting off like their jealousy manifests like, okay, I do want what they have, but I need to appreciate what I have. I'm happy with what I've got type of attitude. So on the plus side, I feel like they're not one of those dangerous, jealous people. Like, they're not going to try and sabotage your success or anything. They might be jealous, but on the plus side, they seem to be telling themselves, like, remember, you're doing well for yourself, too. You're like, you've made some big strides as well. So when this person does get jealous of you, they tend to remind themselves of how well they've done for themselves as well. So I don't think you'll even notice that this person has a jealous bone in their body, to be honest. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, I was right on track. Like, this card, again, tells me, like, when this person sees you making moves, they see it sort of as, like, a kick in the ass that they need to get back to their hard work so that they can catch up with you or they can at least feel like they're ahead of you and you have to catch up with them, okay? So, jealousy is there, but it manifests as, okay, I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to work harder. So that I don't end up feeling like I'm lagging behind this person. Let's see what else we've got. We have the star. Okay, this this represents like what they're jealous of. Interesting. So we have the star. So the one thing that this person is jealous of is that you have a star quality, it seems. Like you have this potential to be a successful person if you're not already a star. I'm hearing that this person feels that you have star potential. You have the ability to become famous. You can become prosperous. You can thrive. So that's one of the big, these are the big words I'm hearing that they feel like, listen carefully, they feel like your future is very, very bright. And it's funny because I feel like some of you don't feel that way, but this person can see it. Um, and they feel like you have a lot of good things going for you if you play your cards right. And that's what makes them jealous. Like, damn, like, you could become big. You can become a big star if you wanted to. And I don't mean big star like a big famous person, just someone who does well in whatever they do, whatever you're good at, your field. Also, I'm sensing that some of you are very beautiful, very physically attractive, and maybe you get a lot of attention because that's what a star is. Like, you look up into the night sky and they're just shining bright like a diamond. And that's how they see you, like someone who is kind of almost, what's the word, ethereal. Like you just have this vibe about you that people want you, but they feel like they can't have you because you're just so out of their league. I feel like that's the case for some of you. Um, and with the moon here, um, I do get the feeling that this person could be jealous of your psychic powers, you know? So maybe you have this amazing, incredible intuition. Maybe you're very in tune with the spirit world or the supernatural. Maybe you're great at interpreting messages and oracles. If that's not it. It could be mysteriousness. I know it's strange, but trust me, it makes sense. If you're a woman, they're jealous of your feminine mystique. If you're a man, you're, they're jealous of how enigmatic and inexplicable and baffling you are. You're kind of like a puzzle piece that people want to solve, but it's almost in a sexy way. Like there's something dark and sinister about you that's mysterious that people just kind of want to know more about. And they're kind of jealous of that. They want to have that aura and that vibe about them too. Okay, let's see what advice the tarot has for you in dealing with this person. Two of swords. Okay. So the good thing is that you have to pretend that you don't even notice that this person is jealous. The reason why is because this person doesn't even pose a threat to you. So to come out to this person and just be like, yeah, I know you're jealous of me, you know? You know, I went on this tarot channel called Zahara Vincent Tarot, and they, she told me that you were jealous of me. <laughs> don't do that, okay? This card is just saying, you know, pretend you don't even notice. You know, this person is, does not pose a threat to you, even if they are jealous of you, and they are they kind of turn it into a positive 
you know, and they're like, okay, you know, I'm a little envious, but I'm going to try and make sure that I'm successful as well. You know, this person's my inspiration. So again, the advice is to not be concerned about this person because they do have positive intentions toward you overall. All right, that's number two. Let's move on to number three. Let's see who's jealous of you people. Okay, so you see how I have two of the same cards here? That's because they kind of both fell. So I will read both of them. So let's start with this. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles and the world. So this is someone you don't feel particularly close to. So maybe you feel a little bit left out in the cold with this person. You feel a little bit ignored, like you're not as close as you used to be with this person. There's a distant feeling here. Like maybe you used to be very close to this person in the past, but things have turned a little bit icy and the relationship isn't as warm as it used to be. And the world as the extra card here is kind of like, even though things are a little bit distant, there's a part of you that's like, okay, you know, you're like, okay with the fact that things are changing for you between you and this person. People are moving on with their lives. And maybe it's time to accept that your relationship with this person has reached its peak. And maybe it's time for you to focus on other things and develop new friendships and relationships with other people. But yeah, this person who's jealous of you, you kind of feel a little bit left out by them. Or maybe you feel like you're kind of like putting them off to the side, you know. There's just this feeling of someone not putting enough effort to upkeep the relationship and friendship. And there's a little bit of an iciness between you. Let's see what else we've got here. Three of Earth. And, oh, this came up reversed. And the King of Cups. Okay, so you know what's interesting? So this person is jealous of you. You can't deny the fact that they're hardworking people. So this person could definitely be someone that you work with. Um, this person could be someone who is very good at what they're doing. They know how to complete their work tasks. This could be someone who's a friend or a partner who is very committed to their career and whatnot. And that's one thing that you appreciate about them. They could also be perfectionists. They're constantly trying to better themselves and build a foundation for their future. So yeah, that's the five that I'm getting. It could be either a coworker or someone who's just very hardworking in their life in general. And then we have the King of Cups reverse, which tells me that this person is far from being calm, cool, and collected. You know, they get very nervous and anxious very easily. They tend to be very on edge, very emotionally unstable. So, you know, they may tend to get angry for silly little things or tend to be very moody. For some of you watching this, I'm getting this message, not for all of you, that this person may tend to drink a lot, but overall... This person who's jealous of you is not someone who's laid back. They're the complete opposite. Very on edge, very nervous, very neurotic, very anxious, very emotionally stable at times. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups. Okay, so the Six of Cups is going to tell me how their jealousy manifests, Okay. And the way that it manifests is that they pretend that they find comfort in their own boring situations or their own mundane situations. Like, if they hear good news from you, they're like, oh, you know, that's great for you, but I'm comfortable and settled in, in my own situation. That's not really the case, you know? I, I do think that they do want change for themselves, but they're pretending that they prefer their own routine and their own environment. But that's BS. It's all a facade. They're not as comfortable and settled into their situation as much as they say. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Cups, which tells me that they tend to walk away from tough situations instead of confronting them head on. So, for example, if a friend does something to them that they don't like, instead of saying, hey, I don't like what you did, can we move forward from this? They're just going to walk away and not deal with it. Or they'll end a relationship without trying to patch things up. Or if they're feeling overwhelmed with their job, they're not going to try and see how they can stick things through. They're going to quit. Those are just examples, not specific occurrences. But the whole idea is that this person who's jealous of you has a tendency to walk away from things too quickly when the going gets tough. Okay? 
Let's see what else we've got here. Okay, so the Hermit, this card kind of tells me how their jealousy manifests. So they tend to retreat and withdraw a lot. So if they see that you're doing better than them, they might tend to retreat into their shell. Like, let me give you a few examples. Like, let's say you're doing very well for yourself. They may tend to give you the cold shoulder, be a little bit reserved, and not contact you as much because it affects them a lot. Or if someone, for example, compliments you while you're out and about, they kind of just shrink and withdraw as if they want to disappear. Again, these are just examples, not concrete specifics. But overall, you know, this person does tend to go quiet and give you the cold shoulder and not contact you as much. Be super antisocial if they feel like you're doing better than them. Okay? That's how their jealousy manifests. Now, let's see what they're jealous of exactly. The magician and judgment. So... They're jealous of the fact that you're very charismatic, you have a very charming personality, there's something about you that's alluring, magnetic, sexy, mesmerizing, and you have this aura about you that's incredible that kind of draws people in. Even if you don't see that for yourself, this is how this person perceives you, and it makes them kind of green and green with envy and seethe. Oh well, let them seethe, right? And the magician is also someone who can make something out of nothing. So you're an amazing, at least in their eyes, you're an amazing manifester. So, you know, maybe you can make money just by using your gifts and talents. Or maybe you can create some sort of masterpiece with very little at your disposal. So, you know, maybe some of you are very talented and very skilled, whether it's, you know, with artistry or the way you speak or the way you can kind of seduce people. You, you're have, you have just amazing personality whatever it is this person can't handle it okay they can't handle it and then you have the judgment card so another thing that this person is jealous of you guys seem to be having a rebirth moment so if some of you were down on your luck in your past this person was secretly happy about it but i'm seeing for a lot of you things are beginning to turn around for you in a positive way whether it's in your career your finances your love life your family life or all or just one of those, you know, you're experiencing that moment where it feels like you're rising from the ashes and you're starting a better life for yourself and this person realizes this and they're not taking it too well. You know, some people just don't want to see people win. And this person who's jealous just isn't too happy about the fact you're kind of experiencing this rebirth where things are just turning around for you. All right, so let's see what we get for advice here. The devil. Very interesting. So the advice here is that with this jealous person, this is a very toxic, unhealthy relationship. Um, and for some of you, it might be a little bit difficult to detach from this person because maybe you have a strong bond, but ultimately it's just not a healthy relationship to maintain. Because this person is just seething with jealousy in their hearts. And that's not the type of energy you should keep around you. So the advice is that, you know, no matter how enticing this friendship slash relationship is, it's best to detach yourself from it because, you know, it's not healthy to keep being chummy with a jealous person who doesn't want to see you win, right? All right, guys. Sorry, I'm eating a cookie. Give me a second. <laughs> Yeah, if you love any of these cards, check out the description. <laughs> check out the description box below to get your own copy. All right, so let's look at number four. Let's see what's going on here, guys. Let's see who's jealous of you. All right, temperance. So this person that is jealous of you, right? You feel like this person is a, is a little bit different from you. And it might be different to a point where it feels like it's difficult to achieve um, harmony and for you guys to get along. So maybe you feel like you need to adjust your personality or make compromises in order for you to find some sort of compatibility with this person. And, you know, the differences don't necessarily need to be personality clashes it could be anything it could be cultural differences 
racial differences, age differences, different upbringing, any kind of difference. You know, it feels like you can't find harmony with this person because you feel different from that person. We're from different worlds. That's not true. I'm not like you. It's just that you two are very different and there's just going to be too many adjustments that are needed on both sides so that you two can get along. For a lot of you, this person who's jealous of you just might be the opposite of you. So, for example, if you're outgoing, this person's more self-conscious. You know, what this person might be black, you might be white. This person might be young, you might be older. You know, that type of thing. Just differences that might you may find it a little bit difficult to kind of see where this person's coming from. All right, and then we have the Page of Swords, Page of Air. So this person who's jealous of you has a very skeptical personality. So they tend not to believe anything unless there's proof and receipts. Um, they're very good at vetting people. They're very good at questioning whether something is real or fake. Um, they're not the type of people to take things at face value. And they're not someone who's easy to fool. So they're going to ask questions. They're going to spy on you. They're going to do their Googles and... They're going to get the truth. So they're not someone that's just going to accept the truth as it is. They don't believe people very easily. They don't let people into their lives very easily. They're just skeptical, hesitant, cautious people. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Justice and the King of Wands. Okay, this person who's jealous of you has a very tit-for-tat, petty personality. So whatever you do to them, they feel the need to be petty and do it to you. So it could be something as stupid like, well, you took a half an hour to reply to me, so I'm going to take three hours to reply to you. How about that? You know, they just have this personality where like everything you do deserves some sort of retaliation or punishment. They always feel like people need a taste of their own medicine, and it can get really annoying because, you know, not everything you do is malicious. You know, like with the texting example, like you probably didn't need to take that long to reply, but that person is just going to retaliate and, you know, be very vengeful. So this person has a very eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth personality. This is not someone who's going to take um, the high road. Then we have the king of wands. So this person who's jealous of you, they have a little bit of arrogance to them. They want to be a commanding presence. They want to be a leader. They can be very imposing, maybe a little bit pushy and domineering, but I'm feeling it's not in an aggressive way. It's actually in a very charismatic, stimulating way that is easy to just get swept up into what they want you to do and how they want to do things. And it's like, wait, hold on. It's not just about you. It's about others too, you know? And the reason why they're like this, it's like they get their ego coddled knowing that people are listening to them and following them following their, their lead, I don't know, it just really helps them stroke their ego, just knowing that, you know, they are the big man on campus, so to speak, or the big woman on campus. All right, um, let's see what else we've got. Of course, the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So how this person's jealousy manifests is by telling themselves that they're better and that they've got a lot going on. So for example, if you decide to tell them some good news about your life, in their mind, they're already trying to tell themselves, you're doing way better. You know, in a conceited way, like, you know, you still have the upper hand, you're more successful, you're still the prize, you know? Or maybe they're not just doing it in their mind, you know, they might try to counteract your good news by slipping in, well, you know, I'm doing this for myself and I have this going on for me, you know, they, just to kind of remind you that there's, you know, they still got it going on, you know. Um, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting that for some of you, this person who shells of you doesn't really have consistency in your life. They always seem to pop in and out of your life out of nowhere. Maybe sometimes they have erratic moods and personality changes. You know, overall, you don't really know what to expect from this person. Sometimes they're, they're very present in your life, communicating with you. 
and the next minute they're gone. You know, this, this person just has a very up and down personality, maybe even has mood swings. One minute they're happy and bubbly, and the next minute they're grumpy and moody. And yeah, so when you tell them good news, sometimes I get the feeling they don't really know how to react, you know, like they're trying to hide their disappointment. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Okay, let's see what they're jealous of. So, and they're jealous of your hard work. Okay, they feel that you're very committed to something. Like, even if you consider yourself to be a lazy bum, this is how they perceive you. You know, they see you as someone as very focused, committed, and they're like, gee, I wish I could be just as focused as this person. You know, they see you as someone who focuses on one particular thing in your life. And they see that as you being on your road to success and they may feel like you enjoy the work that you do. Again, like I said, even if you don't, they get that vibe and you're doing something that they feel that you love doing and they feel like they're doing stuff that they don't enjoy. So they're kind of jealous that you can just get into the zone and they feel that you can just enjoy what you do and you're focused and you're committed, but they can't do the same, you know? If you just got employment, they might be jealous of that for some of you. If you guys are in, if some of you guys are in school and you're doing well with your studying and assignments and tasks and projects, that might make them seethe a little bit. You know, if you're learning a new skill, you know, they might be jealous of that as well. Even if, you know, you're, you have the ability to focus on one thing and, you know, they can't because they have a job to worry about, kids, and they can't focus on what they need to focus on and they see you as someone who's very focused. You might even be jealous of that. Then we have the Ace of Swords, which is an interesting thing to be jealous of. It's kind of strange. So one thing that this person might be jealous of is that they see you as someone who's very straightforward and candid. They might feel like you have the ability to just say what you feel and get it off your chest. And they themselves might have difficulties with that. Second thing is that the Ace of Swords can be about clarity of thought. So they may feel that you're an amazing writer or someone who's very articulate a good conversationalist, either one of those things, you're just very good at getting your words across clearly and masterfully. And finally, this card could also be about being direct in your life. So maybe they feel like they're walking in a fog in their own life. And they have no idea what the hell they're doing, but they feel that you have some sort of clarity about where you want to go in life and how you want to achieve your dreams. Again, even if you feel like you're confused, this person just gets the impression that you have some sort of um, idea about where you want to go in life, and that might throw them off a little bit. Okay. Finally, let's see what advice we have on how to deal with the shells person. We have the Mother of Swords, a.k.a. the Queen of Swords. So I would say that the advice here is to simply use this reading as a way to open your eyes and use your discernment and understand that... This person is very jealous of you, and you might want to cut them out of your life. Don't try to ignore it. Don't try to pretend it's not happening. Face the truth and realize this person doesn't really want to see you win as much as they might portray themselves as, you know, wanting to see you win. The truth is they don't, okay? Um, and if you can, once you notice that this person is acting a little funny, when you mention your good news to them, you know, tell them straight up. I mean, you don't have to say... Oh, you're jealous, but you know, let them know that you see right through their bullshit and say, wow, you know, that's a weird reaction. You don't seem very happy for me, you know? The Queen of Swords is not afraid to say what she thinks, and she's not afraid to cut people off, and that's what this card is suggesting. All right, so guys, if you love any of these cards, check out the description box below to get your own copy.